Russians have nothing to fight with but old military equipment. Ukrainian partisan movement. In Crimea, decommissioned old military equipment has been noticed according to the telegram channel of the partisan movement Atesh. The occupiers will soon have nothing to fight with, claim the partisans. Agents recorded a column of old military equipment in the village of Orikivka, Crimea, moving towards Zankoy. It includes UAZs, Urals, old model BMDs and BTRs, noted Atesh. According to the partisans, the occupiers continue to pull out all the junk with which they try to compensate for the huge losses on the front. Russia is deploying rare types of multiple launch rocket systems to the front line. Partisans in the occupied Yevpatoria reported the unloading of Grad 1. Additionally, as previously reported, Russian forces, possibly fearing a counter-offensive by Ukrainian forces, are deploying significant resources to Zankoy. Concrete dragon's teeth have started appearing on the peninsula. Moreover, fearing a breakthrough by the Ukrainian armed forces, occupiers are frantically digging trenches closer to Crimea. Interestingly, recently, Russian occupiers set up firing positions directly on the beaches of Yev Patoria. It should be noted that Russia's largest known military equipment storage facility has been stripped of nearly half of the Soviet-era tanks and armored vehicles that were stored on its grounds before Moscow launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Russia is re-importing parts for tanks and missiles previously sold to India and Myanmar, potentially to improve older weapons and equipment destined for use in Ukraine.